Guys, welcome back. Another day on the track, and we're doing it a bit different today. Yet, yeah, no super bikes today, but our supermoto. Check the bike. Supermoto it is. That's a bike I bought two, three years ago for one purpose, to practice on it through the week on small go-kart tracks, bigger go-kart tracks, small road bike tracks. Generally, easier to access tracks, cheaper to do a track day, and more or less, whenever you can, you wake up, you can find a track around New South Wales where you can track a supermoto. That's good, but I haven't been spending too much time on them. Yes all what is going on with the stay at home, do this, do that, it came as a second priority. Today, we are out here to see how good it is to practice on it. Once I haven't been on it like for probably like a year and a half, I think, I'm gonna give you a feedback for all you guys out there that you think of getting a second bike beside your 600 or your 1000, whatever you have to track, or if you think of getting a bike to start tracking and get the feeling of a track, if it's a good idea to get a supermoto. I'll do one, two sessions, three, four, five, six, ten, and come out and give you my feedback. And I'll be realistic as much as I can. Bang, see you. Check the bike, I'll put the warmers everything. Check how it looks. 2018, Husvana 450. What a bike, fully stock. This bike is almost new. Let's go and check it. I'm not gonna hide it, guys. Once I got on the bike, got on the track, I'm like, where am I on? Dirt bike, street bike? I was moving my butt. I wasn't sure where to put it. I wasn't even sure when to tip in the corner either. Like I had somebody in front of me to give me a bit of a guide and Lloyd that gave me a huge hand on the track. I was missing gears. But you know what? I'm, let's move a bit forward in the session just to get a bit a better idea out of it. So a few laps later, I knew that I was on a street bike. I was going around corners with my elbow out, coming down the straight, fully tucked in. I was trying even to back it in. Didn't always work, right? Hanging my head, trying to reach the handlebars. Pushing my elbow down and taking the corners like a, if I'm on a street bike. And it kept on getting better. So whoever gets one and has a background of dirt bikes, it's gonna you're gonna have a transition uh, time. One, two, three, ten laps. But don't stress. Just be careful with those gears, guys. You don't want to destroy uh, gearbox. That track had some awesome, uh, quite quick corners on a 450, and you can carry some beautiful lines. It has a big bang around corners and you can go up and come down in this sort of way. I started trusting the whole bike more getting the feeling out of the grip that the tires have, which is extremely good. You can reach and touch your foot pegs. And generally, I think, guys, that it's, it is a really good idea to, to practice on one of these ones. 
and make it as a second track bike or even like your single track bike. I really love that backing in by on the end of this straight. Here's a slow motion one. session done on this baby guys I don't know but I'm loving it too much it's like a year I haven't been on the supermoto and I think I'm gonna keep on riding it for a while I'm not gonna do your head too much for whoever is interested into getting a supermoto as a practice or as a first bike go for it and I reckon get a second hand older one it doesn't really matter at the beginning and I'm sure you're gonna progress you're gonna find when to join the club to start doing a small couple of racing uh, meetings Actually, you know what? We're gonna start racing this thing again. A lot of supermoto to come. I'm gonna say goodbye. I might do a sneaky last one. And I'll see you next time. Bang, I love you all guys. And stay tuned. Ride bikes.